welcome back to the channel this is going to be second video about Cardoon in the previous video we showed you and talked about wild Cardoon that grows here around California Bay Area here we see Cardoon it's this thistly plant in the artichoke family it was brought over by the Europeans in the early times of colonization it receives itself really easily because it loves the climate here. In that video, we harvested leaves and I cooked the stems of the leaves. And from that time, I still have some in my freezer, cleaned up, cut up into this size pieces of leaf stalks. I use them in my soup and it's really, really, really good. This is going to last me a while. But today, I harvested these babies. So in the middle of June, Cardoon is making buds, getting prepared to bloom. That's when I went back uh, to Chlorophyll Farms and harvested Cardoon that grows there wild. And of course, it's super prickly and um, one might ask, why do you even bother to cook this thing? And uh, the answer is, I guess, I like to experiment and I'm just very curious about how this thing tastes. Here's our bud and I'm going to cut off all the prickles here so that there will be no injuries while cooking and while tasting. As I said already in the previous video about cardoon, cardoon is the rel relative of artichoke and thistle. So it's bitter and bitter is really good for the liver, to sti it stimulates the liver. It's really good for digestion. If I try to lick my finger, it's going to be really bitter. But if I cook it long enough, then the bitter taste goes away. At least that's what happened with the leaves and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen here with this uh, bud see so now it's uh, much better i can touch it now buds here I'm gonna boil them and taste them and we will see how good they are to eat you know is it worth the trouble harvesting and preparing wild cardoon now I cooked those buds here they look they look good and they smell just amazing. It's not much to eat here, but let's see what we can do. I'm going to use my hands to open them up. They fall apart really easily and they're just like an artichoke. You, know, you can pick up every leaf or um, scale and uh, there is a little meat there, not much. Of course, the bud is smaller than artichoke bud. It's just a delicacy. The taste is just amazing. It's the same taste as artichoke taste, except that it's more, it's richer. It's more pronounced and I'm gonna just tear this apart. Oops falling out. So you can see that there is meat inside there that you can eat and I'm gonna taste it right here. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, 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 mm. It's very tender and it's so rich. 
the taste is just amazing. Just you can put a little mayonnaise here on top and kind of scoop it out with your uh, with a spoon. But I really love using fingers. There is more, a little bit more meat on the other side of the artichoke. And if I will open this up, well, it's not artichoke, it's cardoon, but it's very, very similar to artichoke. And you can see that the same, um, there is the same structure as an artichoke stru structure. All these hairs, they're not so good to eat. Uh, they're kind of rough and... Um, Let's see. Yeah, there's not much to eat here. So the whole thing is a delicacy. I'm doing it for fun. This is this is amazing. This is an experiment and it proves that uh, like I'm excited because uh, I proved myself that I can do it and that it t tastes good. And I don't know when next time I'm going to go out and um, collect those things. But this experiment was really fun. And I want to show you something else. There were a couple of buds left. I did not process them. And look what happened. They became flowers. Aren't they amazing? They're so powerful that even being cut of the stem being left in the container. They flowered in the container. They opened up and started flowering here. And the color is just magnificent. And I can feel, you can feel the power of this plant. And just imagine that you, when you, you know, when you harvest and cook it, you get this power in your food and um, you get something inside. So for me, it's like, you know, homeopathic medicine. You don't need a lot of something good, but you put it in the system and it works almost homeopathic uh, medicine. They call it also informational medicine. So that medicine informs your body of different possibilities that exist, you know, and it kind of wakes up your body to different possibilities. So that's part of how homeopathy works or it's a very simple explanation of how homeopathy works. When I eat just a little bit of something unusual, something really, really good, I feel that my body responds to it in a very positive way. It just kind of like opens up and says like, whoa, yes, I like it. So I believe in saying that what feels good is actually good for you. Well. Sometimes it's, you know, you eat a lot of sugar or a cookie and it feels good, but it's not that good for you. But um, I hope you get what I'm saying. You know when something is good for you. And it's good to trust that feeling. And I trust it. And I think that these guys, cardoon buds cooked, are really good for us. Happy eating!